by loading a video and I'll explore the buttons. This button can play forward and stop. It can go in reverse and stop. You can go one frame at a time each time we click forward or one frame at a time as we click reverse. We can also go in different speeds in slow motion and then we can increase the speed as you can see up to 16 times normal speed is one we can measure in seconds or in minutes in TMUs in hours or in hours minutes seconds I'll go back to seconds and we can um, scroll and find where we want to start our study let's assume that we want to start over here uh, this is a point of uh, beginning 425 seconds and 0.59 and we'll click on from the button will get the number and then we'll start running the video and we want to study till here we'll click on the two and we can see that the elapsed time takes that time um, we can rate let's say it 110 and the time accordingly is changed so you can see that at uh, this point we can go to another position if we want and take another study we stop and uh, click on the beginning start uh, let's assume that there is an element that we want to take out on interruption we can stop at the beginning of the element click on from and continue until the interruption or the element that we want to take out is finished we click on two and we click on exclude what will happen now is the time will be excluded from the uh, standard time so we can continue until the end of the element that we want to study we click on 2 and we can see that the time was 21 seconds however 4.88 seconds uh, has to be excluded so the net time is accordingly calculated and leveled and this is it. This is how the stopwatch works. It's this very simple.